Have you ever heard of the suitcase killer? This case captivated the nation, raising questions about safety, deception, and the lengths people go to in the pursuit of justice. Who was the suitcase killer and what drove him to commit such a heinous act? How was he caught? And what was the ultimate price he paid for his crimes? We've delved deep into court documents, news archives to bring you the definitive story of the suitcase killer. This in-depth exploration will separate fact from fiction, uncovering the chilling truth behind this unforgettable case. From troubled past to model marine, the duality of Rosendo Rodriguez III. Rosendo Rodriguez III, a seemingly well-adjusted marine with a promising future, hid a dark secret. Born into a chaotic and violent household, Rodriguez's childhood was anything but normal. Despite these challenges, he excelled in school and even pursued higher education. As he matured, Rodriguez channeled his struggles into discipline, becoming a respected and responsible figure. His path took him through various jobs before he found his place within the structured environment of the Marines. There he flourished, earning praise for his dedication and reliability. Rodriguez's troubled past seemed a distant memory, replaced by the stability and purpose of military life. However, this facade of normalcy masked a sinister truth. Rodriguez's past would soon resurface, revealing the disturbing complexities of a man capable of both heroism and villainy. Lost dreams in the Texas dust. Summer Baldwin, a young woman with a bright future ahead of her, found herself on a path far bleaker than she ever imagined. Born with a vibrant personality and a twinkle in her eye, Summer's aspirations stretched beyond the confines of her small Washington town. A community college and a career in acting seemed like a natural progression, a life fueled by her passion and kindness. However, a yearning for a fresh start led her to Lubbock, Texas, a place where dreams seemed to get lost in the endless dust. Lubbock proved to be a harsh mistress. What began with optimism quickly spiraled into addiction and dangerous company. Her initial plans for the future faded, replaced by the daily struggle for survival. The world Summer found herself in was a far cry from the stages and applause she once envisioned. To make ends meet, she resorted to escort work, a decision that would have unforeseen and ultimately tragic consequences. One fateful day, Summer's journey came to a devastating end. Her lifeless body, discarded in a landfill, was a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the darkness that can consume even the most resilient spirit. The discovery of her remains would ignite a search for the truth, a hunt that would expose the depths of human depravity. The mask slips, unmasking the darkness within. Summer Baldwin's murder wasn't a random act. As investigators dug deeper, a chilling narrative unfolded, revealing a predator lurking beneath the surface of normalcy. Rosendo Rodriguez, the man suspected in Summer's demise, presented himself as an ordinary individual. However, this facade crumbled under scrutiny. He portrayed the encounter with Summer as a chance meeting gone wrong, claiming he acted in self-defense when she became aggressive. This carefully constructed story painted him as a victim caught in a violent situation. The veneer of innocence began to peel away as inconsistencies in Rodriguez's narrative surfaced. Forensic evidence spoke a damning truth. The crime was premeditated, not a spur-of-the-moment reaction. This meticulous investigation shattered the illusion Rodriguez tried to create. Behind the mask of normalcy, a predator with a dark agenda was exposed. Through the relentless pursuit of the truth, authorities unveiled the chilling reality. Rosendo Rodriguez wasn't a bystander caught in chaos, but a calculating killer with a sinister motive. From suitcase to suspect, unraveling the mystery. A discarded suitcase at the landfill held a horrifying discovery. The body of Summer Baldwin, what initially seemed like a cruel prank, unraveled into a nightmare, forcing detectives into a relentless pursuit of the truth. Investigators initially faced a chilling scene, a human body discarded like trash. The discovery of a mannequin in such a location wasn't unheard of, leading to a moment of disbelief. However, the grim reality soon set in as a closer examination revealed Summer's lifeless form. The lack of immediate clues only intensified the urgency to find the culprit. Despite the absence of physical or biological evidence at the scene, detectives weren't deterred. Through meticulous work, they unearthed Summer's identity using her fingerprints and a unique ankle tattoo. The autopsy painted a horrifying picture. Summer had been brutally beaten, sexually assaulted, and ultimately suffocated. The discovery of her pregnancy added another layer of tragedy to the case. A crucial turning point came with the suitcase itself. A closer look revealed it was new, with the purchase tag still attached. This seemingly insignificant detail proved valuable. Through dedicated investigation, detectives traced the purchase back to a nearby Walmart, uncovering a shocking truth. The suitcase was bought with a debit card belonging to a Hispanic male, 
Rosendo Rodriguez. This single misstep connected Rodriguez to the crime scene, leading him directly into the crosshairs of the investigation. With a suspect identified, the pursuit of justice for Summer gained momentum. The seemingly random discovery of a suitcase morphed into a crucial clue, leading investigators straight to Rosendo Rodriguez. The web of deceit and violence surrounding Summer's death was about to be unraveled. Closing the net, evidence mounts against Rodriguez. With warrants issued, the hunt for Rosendo Rodriguez intensified. Law enforcement pursued him across the state, determined to build a case against the prime suspect. The pursuit of Rodriguez wasn't confined to a single location. Authorities tracked him across Texas from San Antonio to Midland, gathering evidence with meticulous care. Upon his arrest, Rodriguez asserted his right to legal counsel, hindering direct questioning but not halting the investigation. Detectives meticulously collected items from his residence, phone, computer, personal belongings, anything that could shed light on his involvement. In Midland, the rental truck he used was scoured for forensic evidence, no detail left unexamined. The seemingly ordinary hotel room Rodriguez occupied at the Holiday Inn held a grim secret. Bloodstains within the room and latex gloves containing both Summer's blood and Rodriguez's DNA in the trash painted a disturbing picture. Even seemingly mundane details like key card access records revealed his movements on the day of the crime, piecing together a timeline of events. A particularly chilling discovery came from Rodriguez's computer, searches related to Summer Baldwin and the news coverage of her death. This digital footprint offered a glimpse into his mindset and potential motive. A glimmer of hope, or perhaps a calculated move, emerged two weeks later. Rodriguez's attorney turned over two knives belonging to Summer, hinting at a possible confession. However, this hope quickly dissipated as Rodriguez offered a self-serving account of the events. He fabricated a story of consensual sex followed by a drug-fueled fight, portraying himself as the victim forced to defend himself. The question remained, was this a genuine confession or a carefully crafted lie? In October 2006, the remains of Joanna Catherine Rogers were found in the same landfill as that of Summer Baldwin after an extensive search. Joanna had been missing since May 2004. A life taken, justice served, the end of the suitcase killer. Rosendo Rodriguez, the man suspected in Summer Baldwin's murder, faced the ultimate penalty for his crimes. As the clock ticked down to his execution, a final attempt to avoid justice was denied. Found guilty of the brutal murder and sexual assault of Summer Baldwin, Rodriguez was sentenced to death on 2005. His appeals exhausted, the U.S. Supreme Court delivered the final verdict, leaving no room for delay. As the execution date approached, a sense of finality hung heavy in the air. On the day of the execution, Rodriguez was surrounded by a stark contrast of emotions, his own family and the grieving families of Summer Baldwin and Joanna Rogers. The execution process commenced with Rodriguez strapped to a gurney and administered a lethal dose of pentobarbital. In his final moments, he used the platform to make accusations and pronouncements. He called for investigations into officials and boycotts of Texas businesses, all while expressing a sense of acceptance about his fate. At 6.46 p.m., Rodriguez's life was brought to an end, marking the fourth execution in Texas that year. The execution of Rosendo Rodriguez closed a dark chapter. Lubbock County officials acknowledged the gravity of his crimes and the necessity of the punishment. While the act itself was somber, it brought a sense of closure to the families who had endured unimaginable loss. Justice, though final and severe, had finally been served. Who sticks a human being in a suitcase and throws them out with the trash? Powell questioned. This was a guy that left unchecked, was going to hurt somebody else again, and was going to continue to terrorize women. The suitcase killer case may be closed, but there are many more untold stories of true crime waiting to be explored. For another chilling case of deception and its consequences, check out our video. Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on the latest mysteries and investigations.